Hello there, welcome back to My Sims 2 Uberhood. My name is Brianna Peppers and today we are still in Strange Town playing with the Grunt family. One of many grunts. We have a lot of grunts going on in Strange Town now. <laughs> um, but the OG grunt. So today we're playing with General Buzz and his new wife Sandy. So you may remember from my introductions video how I talked about General Buzz has gotten remarried. Or maybe he wasn't married yet. I don't remember, but he is now. So they're living over here in the same house that they start the game in. I don't think I've done anything to modernize this home. I think that I would like to, but that could be quite an undertaking. So we'll see if I'm in the mood for a full remodel or if we might just do like a basic redecoration, kind of how I did with the Smith house. General Buzz and Sandy are happily living their lives. They don't have any children yet. I don't know if they will. Sandy is a little bit younger than General Buzz. Not by too much, if I remember correctly but she may or may not decide that she wants children. She is a fortune sim, so it's unlikely, but it is possible. We don't have much of a bio here. It just says General Buzz may not have been a perfect husband or father, but that doesn't mean he can't try again. And by may not, I mean was not. <laughs> uh, we all know what the story is with General Buzz and how he has a very strained relationship with his children. Now that they're all adults and out of the house, he actually has grandchildren too. Um, Let's just see if he has a change of heart or if he's just going to stay the same mean old grouch that he usually is. Alright, so here we are at the Grunt household and uh, we're on the outside. Let me just take a look. Yeah, I'm actually appalled with myself. I can't believe that I've let it go on looking like this for this long. I guess I used to have a more nostalgic approach to the game where it was kind of... I liked the idea of it keeping it the way that it was supposed to look. But yeah, I think Sandy moving in, maybe she'll decide that they need a little bit of a, a makeover. Uh, to my recollection, it has been a while, but this is going to be the first rotation that we've played with Sandy actually in the household. So yeah, right now Sandy is 17 days- <gasps> I forgot about this. <laughs> She's 17 days from becoming an elder and she does want to have a baby. So I said that I wasn't sure if they were going to have one, but that pretty much nails it in for me. Uh, if they want to, then that just gives me all the more reason. She and General Buzz are going to be trying for a baby today. Or this round. General Buzz is seven days from becoming an elder. So in a few more rounds, or more like two rounds, he's going to become an elder. Uh, I've said before, once I finish this rotation, uh, I still have to get through Strange Town, Downtown, and university uh, but then when I go back to Pleasant View to start over for the next round we're gonna be playing five day rotations instead of just two and I don't know if I'm still gonna be making YouTube videos for those at that point in time I'll have to keep you guys updated that's probably still like almost a year away so <laughs> I'm just kidding maybe it won't take that long but at the rate I film the videos yeah it takes me a while uh, General Buzz actually has an extra one slot because he and Sandy just got married and they just went on vacation. Yeah, he got these, I forget what they're called, like vacation benefits? They're like the aspiration benefits, but they're time limited, so he's carefree, productive, and forgiving. Uh, and the carefree comes with an extra one slot. Whenever that goes away, I'm gonna have to remember to use the bad box to give him a degree, because it looks like I've never done that before. It looks like here I did give Sandy a degree because she has all six one slots. Anyway, so some of the last memories that we have from Sandy are just getting married, going on her vacation, fighting with this guy named Joel, I guess. Um, she and General Buzz met. She immediately woohooed with him. I guess it was kind of like love at first sight. I don't remember how they met. I think that they worked together, but she's in the athletic career now, so maybe that's not the case. I genuinely don't remember. It's been too long, and I don't think that I documented any of that. She does have a new hairstyle as well because of my clay default replacements. I don't dislike this hair, but I don't know if it suits her, so I might change it. General Buzz is right here, and honestly, like, he's a really good looking sim. As much as I want to hate him, I don't. I do like General Buzz. I think that he has made some really bad decisions in his life, and he treats people pretty much, like, well, horribly. But... I do think that everyone has the right to redemption and I just hope that his marriage to Sandy, now that he's not alone and maybe feeling a little less bitter, will kind of open him up. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, so it is Friday at 9am. Um, General Buzz is off work today, but Sandy was supposed to go to work. 
I think that she didn't go because they literally just got home from their honeymoon, according to time. Should I send her to work? Let me see if I can find an ACR adjuster. Oh, this one. Okay, so I did just run the pregnancy scanner and Sandy is not currently pregnant. And this is kind of late. It's a little bit of a, like, I forgot <laughs> situation. Uh, I think when I said that General Buzz married Sandy, I think a lot of people's first thought was that she, he married Sandy Broody. Uh, but remember, he did not marry Sandy Broody. This is a different Sandy. Unfortunately, I did not write down what her maiden name was. I usually will write that in their bio, but <laughs> past Brianna forgot. Uh, but no, actually, if we look at his family tree, Tank had his son with Sandy Broody. So Sandy Broody is in the Grunt family, <laughs> just not this one. So a couple things. I think that I'm going to do a very quick slapdash makeover for the household, just kind of to make it look nicer so that I actually have the will to play this household. So be right back. Okay, so I have finished what I called just a slight makeover. I didn't change a whole lot about the exterior here, but you can see that I did put in a fence and I opted to get rid of all of the rose bushes that were surrounding the house, uh, mostly because I don't think that they fit the terrain. Like, I don't think you could grow rose bushes out of a desert, but who am I? Um, not a garden connoisseur, that's for sure. So I just threw in some cacti, which I think are kind of cool looking. I need more little like flower bed cacti because these are a little too uniform. But maybe Sandy just has an eye for symmetry. I don't know. I decided not to surround the entire lot with the fence and just put it around the immediate house area. Um, I think that this high privacy fence actually really suits General Buzz's tastes. I think that he would not want people to be able to just walk up to his house or be able to walk in and, uh, you know, see whatever he's doing in there. But his outer area back here with his soccer net and... I don't know what this is called. What is this called? That's a great question. Exerto self log obstacle course. Okay. Um, so that. <laughs> yeah, I thought that once I surrounded the entire lot with the fence, it just looked a little weird. So that's how everything is. Oh, and side note, a while back, I gave General Buzz a... I think he had the want, actually, to get a toy dog. If you ever use these from Apartment Life, they're these little pens with little animals in them. They're basically treated the same as like WOM rats, but then I downloaded the default replacement that turns the toy dogs into rabbits. So now General Buzz has a rabbit named Terror. <laughs> I actually think it's really funny. So I like that and we're keeping Terror. Okay, and then this is the inside of the house. So we'll start on the first floor. Um, biggest thing to me that I really wanted to fix was like the color palette. I didn't like that like flat sage green color that was all over the walls. So now we have like this deep emerald color. I've been really into like jewel tones lately, so maybe that's why. Um, I think that he kind of likes green because he's an army guy and he told Sandy that, you know, if you're going to repaint my house and redecorate everything, at least keep it simple. So this is what they wound up with. Um, the main area here is the same. Uh, the only thing that I did was I think I made the bathroom a little bit bigger because there was a weird dead space between... Like, it was supposed to be a hallway, but there's no need for it, honestly, between the bathroom and the stairs. So now the bathroom's bigger. It's a full bathroom with a shower and tub. Um, this used to be a bedroom. I got rid of the door and I put, like, an archway, so it's basically, like, an extension of the living area. At first, I thought maybe I would put the television and couch and stuff in here, and it could be, like, a den. But I didn't like how it was fitting, especially because I wanted the bathroom to have a door here as well. So, yeah, we still have our little like hallway living room uh this was the best situation i could find where it wouldn't cause any like in my opinion like routing errors and stuff so yeah basically just tv rug uh bookshelf area apologies if you hear weird noises by the way that's my dog playing with her toy i finally got her to stop using her squeaker so this is an improvement a uh, record player because they had a radio station or radio player but i deleted it and then of course you know me i have to have a cute little end table with a phone so, oh, and there's bubbles. Where's that coming from? <laughs> there's bubbles there. All right, well, those aren't supposed to be there. And then this is the kitchen. So the kitchen is also different. Instead of, like, the galley kitchen, the way it was separated, I'm sure you probably saw it before, I made it just one big room. 
I'm usually quite a fan of like the open living concept, but I think that it looks nicer with this wall separating the living room and the kitchen with like this archway, especially because I really wanted to have a tile, so a different kind of floor, and it didn't look right without a wall. Um, they have a dishwasher and a trash compactor and a stove. It's kind of compact right here, and the lighting is kind of off too. Everything is really, really bright. Whenever it's nighttime, it's not going to be as bright, but maybe if it hurts my eyes, I might like get some darker swatches. I don't know. Um, they're going to have to do most of their cooking on the actual island counters, which is why I put these here, because I really wanted the appliances to be tucked up against the walls. And then they have their table right there. Like I said, very simple. You're not going to see a lot of decorations. Um, it, I didn't want to overdo it, and it already took me like two hours. <laughs> Upstairs, I did change the floor plan just a little bit. Uh, these rooms are basically the same, but it was just odd how they had this. There was this room here that was supposed to be rips. I completely demolished this wall, and I got rid of this bathroom that was here. The way I see it, like this family really doesn't need this many bathrooms. Um, I originally planned to only have two bathrooms, so it was just going to be the one downstairs and then the one up here in General Buzz's room. However, I wound up having a dead space in this corner, so they have a nice little half bath right there, right across the hallway from this room. As you can see, I put General Buzz's like workout equipment in here. They don't have kids right now, and even when they do, I assume, I assume they're only going to have one, so for the time being, this room can be like a spare like junk room. If they do have a baby, I think this is the room that I'm going to put him in. Or her, you know, or her. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really ran out of inspiration up here, as you can tell. Like, I didn't really know what else to put up here. I kept wanting to put, put things like a chess table or, you know, artwork, like easels or an instrument. But both Sandy and General Buzz are very, oops, very much more into, like, sports than they are anything else. So I just kind of thought that maybe they didn't need that yeah see it's both of their one true hobbies which is nice they have something to bond over um general buzz is not interested in entertainment or culture like at all sandy is but yeah and lastly up here oh my gosh this is actually much more empty than i thought it was <laughs> i think that i will come back and put things in here but for right now it looks very like hospital-esque it's very clean and and minimalized so same strange layout, but I did choose to get rid of the stairs and the little, like, uh, doorway that comes out of this, uh, room. For some reason, General Buzz had a stairwell that led right up just directly to his bedroom. I think that it's a cool concept for, like, you know, an off, maybe like an apartment inside of a house, but for him it's really not necessary, and especially now that I opened up this hallway, they shouldn't have any routing issues. You know, I hope. So yeah, just a bed and a dresser, and I did initially try to put some decorations and because both uh, Sandy and Buzz's one true hobby is sports I put up some trophies I think I did this in the Beaker household with Fallon as well just because um, these like I imagine that maybe they were in like some kind of championships or maybe you know General Buzz definitely would have been a football player or something if, if he had gone to like an American high school so yeah and this is the bathroom there's really not much to say uh, the way I see it, at least it's nicer to look at, it doesn't hurt my eyes, and, you know, it'll do for now, until I decide to personalize it a bit more later. So yeah, let's go ahead and start playing the game. Like I was saying before, it's Friday at 9am, so we'll be playing these Sims until Sunday at 6am, and let's just see what they get up to. So of course, they want to have a baby, well she wants to have a baby, General Buzz does not. He is so old, like, <laughs> um, at least in comparison to Sandy, because he already has uh, two, three grandchildren. Four? No, just three. Yeah, he, uh, Rip has two daughters, and um, Tank has a son. Buck and Jill, which, you know, Buck is right here. I mentioned before, Buck is currently engaged to Jill Smith, and I'm quite certain that Jill Smith is pregnant, so General Buzz is about to have even more grandkids. What's sad is the fact that um, General Buzz doesn't really have a relationship. In fact, he, as you can see here, he has never met his grandchildren from Rip. He's never met Violet or Rowan. Um, uh, I think I talked about this in my introductions video, but the story goes that um, Rip actually met his girlfriend, Nicole, when he was very young, like he had just graduated high school, 
that sweet. Uh, just graduated high school and he brought Nicole over. They had like a one night stand and she got pregnant. So, I mean, I call her his girlfriend, but she's really not. Nicole and Rip actually already had their episode like towards the beginning of the series. So if you're interested, you should definitely go back and watch that. Um, and so you can see a bit more insight into what Rip is doing. I always think they're proposing when they do that. And then I remember they're already married. <laughs> Long story short, Nicole the uh, Townie, you know, she got pregnant by Rip, and when Rip told General Buzz, which of course they already didn't have a very healthy relationship, uh, Rip told General Buzz that he had gotten a girl pregnant, and General Buzz said, well, I'm not going to support this whatsoever, and you have to move out. And that's kind of the story of how Rip wound up moving so far away. He moved over to Pleasant View. He doesn't live in Strangetown at all anymore. And his children, Violet, uh, which is his oldest, she's actually already in like school and again General Buzz has never met her. It makes me sad but I think that it's pretty par for the course with this kind of thing. Um, he does have like a pretty good relationship like he's getting to know his grandson Riley very well. Uh, you could probably credit that to the fact that uh, Tank and Riley live right next door. <laughs> so it's very easy for General Buzz to pop over. Um, it's kind of sad to me. Again, I keep saying it's sad, which we all know it's sad, but it is the case. Uh, General Buzz, you know, he's on the outs with Rip. They don't hate each other anymore. They just have absolutely no relationship, which is almost worse. To me, the opposite of love is indifference. So, yeah, that's kind of rough. What are we doing? <gasps> oh, we're gonna lay on the hard, probably steaming hot cement. Oh, yeah, they immediately said, oop, no, that's too hot. That's too hot, they said. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, General Buzz is extremely close with Tank and Buck. Uh, maybe that also has something to do with why these two brothers decided to stay in Strangetown. I don't know. All right, let's go make that baby because, you know, the longer we wait, the longer it will be before we get a baby. These two just came in from their honeymoon and they are ready to jump in the sheets, <laughs> so to speak. Come on. And Sandy, I'm not sure how this would have gone about, to be honest. I'm not sure if Sandy is telling General Buzz that she wants to have a baby. I really don't think that he would want to have another kid, especially because his sons are all adults. Um, I think he'd be happy at the very least just being a grandpa, especially that he's getting a little older. But what do I know? Um, maybe he really loves Sandy and he sees her as like his second chance, kind of like what I was leading towards with his bio. Maybe if he has children with Sandy, he'll be able to, I don't know, be more compassionate, maybe kind of just like not be a terrible father. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay, so it's 2.30. These two fell asleep after their little afternoon delight. Uh, I'm going to have Sandy use the bathroom, and while she's on the toilet, I'm going to use that as the opportunity to run what I call a pregnancy test. <laughs> it's not really a pregnancy test. I just have them pee on the toilet, and then I use my ACR adjuster to do pregnancy scanner. Oh, no. Okay, well, that answered my question. Sandy did not get pregnant, so we're going to have to try again. Uh-oh, and we missed work today. That's right. I never did send her into work. That's okay. Sandy is a superstar, level 7, in the athletic career, so she's really into sports. She's, like, a very famous, like, sports athlete. <laughs> I don't even know the word. That's so funny. Um, she, all she needs is one charisma skill point, and then she'll get a promotion, so that's really nice. She already makes 1,190 simoleons a day, which is nuts. The athletic career pays, like, a lot, which I guess is, like, you know, realistic. Uh, she's gonna take care of some needs. I'm gonna have General Buzz wake up so that he doesn't wind up sleeping all day and staying up all night. And we're gonna have some spaghetti. I think that General Buzz should grow out some facial hair. Uh, I have my alternate Strange Town. I don't know if I've mentioned that here yet, but just recently I actually was really missing like the beginning of Strange Town. Oh my god, Orlando. <laughs> no, we're not still friends. Anyway. I was really missing the beginning of Strangetown, and I kind of wanted to see what I could do with just Strangetown and not in an Uberhood. So I did start that, and General Buzz is very, very, very different. If you're interested at all about seeing what I'm doing in my alternate Strangetown, and I'm also beginning an alternate Pleasant View, they're kind of just for my own personal, like, you know, gaming, whenever I kind of just want to let off some steam and I don't have to 
worry about messing anything up for my streams or my videos, you should join my Discord because I post all the screenshots and stories in there. So I couldn't find a beard that I liked, but I do like this new hairstyle for him. So I think I'm just going to give him some light stubble. Um, he's a general, so like, as long as his beard or facial hair is kept clean and tidy, I think that he would be allowed to have it. Alright, looking good, looking good. So he's hungry, I'm going to have him come down and get some dinner with Sandy. And then I think that I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to give Sandy a new hairstyle as well. Okay, so this is Sandy Grunt's new look. Um, it's a little young for her, but I think that she is the type of person that she would be like a little more like styling herself, maybe younger than her years. She's also just super pretty, so she can get away with it. Um, I think that I'm just going to leave her clothes as they are for now, and if she decides to buy clothes later, um, or maybe she'll get pregnant and she wears maternity clothes, then I'll worry about that when the time comes. Alright, so let's just kind of get this day started. Well, I guess we've already gotten it started, but you know, let's get it going. <laughs> um, she is hungry again. Didn't she already eat? I thought she already ate, so that means she's hungry ag again. Maybe she was just very hungry. I already checked. I mean, she's not pregnant, so that's not the case. Um, yeah, <laughs> making sure I didn't re misremember something. So they're just going to have dinner together. I wonder what this couple is going to get up to if they don't have children. That's my question. Um, there is a possibility that Sandy, even though she wants to have a baby, maybe she won't get pregnant. I honestly, I could not see General Buzz adopting. I don't know. Like, I know some people are against it because they would always rather like to have children of their own. And I think General Buzz kind of strikes me as that person. Otherwise, I would say, yeah, like, I think they would just adopt. But, hmm, I'm not sure if that'll be in the cards for this family. Uh, we'll try again in a couple hours for the baby. Um, I usually kind of do what, like, Pleasant Sims used to do, where I let them try for baby three times. If they still don't get pregnant at that point, it's either going to be an adoption, or in this family's case, it might be a let's give up and just focus on your grandkids, I guess. I wonder if Sandy's going to have a conversation with Buzz at some point, like, hey, like, have you ever thought about maybe reaching out to Rip? Because we, he knows that he has grandchildren. They're in his family tree. He knows he's heard through the grapevine because, you know, Buck and Rip have um, communications. So, I'm not sure. Not sure if he uh, is interested in reaching out to them at all. But right now, I think it would be a good time to invite over the kids that he does like. <laughs> I want to have them spend some time together. Their relationship is already the highest it could go, 100 over 100 with both of them, but I don't think it would hurt to have them come over. Also, just a side note, because if you don't remember my introductions video, uh, this might be throwing you off a little bit, how he's in love with Nina and Lilith. So just to do a quick side story, just remember that Nina and General Buzz had a very brief tryst. Um, I don't think that he has interacted with her at all since he got engaged and married to Sandy, but Nina is Nina Curious because she's married to Vidkind, and yeah, they just kind of like hooked up a bit. It wasn't anything super serious. With Lilith, things seemed like they were going to get serious, but here's the thing. I really do think that Lilith was just kind of like, you know, experimenting, and she has like a troubled relationship with her father, so I think that maybe she was just kind of like getting out some daddy issues that sounds terrible but that's kind of where my, my mind is going with that and uh she he's still in love with her i don't think she has any feelings really towards him they just don't talk anymore so i could just use my midge the tree uh just be friends mod to invite them over and say hey do you just want to be friends and then it would take away the love thing but i kind of like the idea as well of them having like unresolved relationships things just kind of fizzled out but you know the feelings are still there something to think about anyway we're going to invite over tank he cannot invite over riley because riley is still a toddler um i could always use the sim blender to spawn over the toddlers and then just delete them but uh, sometimes it's more work than it's necessary <laughs> um maybe i'll do that in this case though since they live just next door i don't think it would make sense for tank to get a nanny to watch riley just so that he could walk over to his dad's house and in Buck's case, we're going to invite Buck and Jill. 
kind of how we did last episode with like the Smith family. We invited over Johnny and Jill and everybody. So I do like to get at least one family day in. Okay, Jill's not coming. Never mind. Whenever Tank gets here, he should come from this direction. But how much do you want to bet he's going to walk in from over there? Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> Hi, we have to go greet him. Yeah, this is his house right there. And Buck was supposed to come from that direction. <laughs> I don't think that the game, like, you know, obviously recognizes what direction their houses are, but how cool would it be if it did? Okay, so we're greeting Tank. So this is kind of the first look. Oh no, you have to greet Buck too. Anyway, this is kind of the first look that we're getting of Tank since our introductions video. Um, you can see the clear resemblance between General Buzz and Tank. They're basically the same person, um, down to like the same pants and the same shirt, just in a different color. <laughs> Um, I love that though, like, you know, Tank is kind of coded to have, like, this really big, like, inspirational type thing, like, he really looks up to General Buzz. I think it's nice. I mean, at least he has a good relationship with some of his kids. I will say General Buzz definitely pushed Tank too hard when he was a teenager. Tank didn't even get to go to college because, um, General Buzz was forcing him to work so hard, so he just kind of, like, went straight into the military career basically like the equivalent of graduating high school and just going straight to the army okay phones ringing everybody's dancing <laughs> oh they're really getting down who's calling us general buzz oh it's ivy my friend sandy had a great time with you no i wonder when she says sandy she must mean his wife sandy is a townie so like i don't know she's got some kind of connections here and there Alright, I see also that General Buzz wants to be friends with Antonio Monti. That's kind of funny. Um, if he was going to align himself with any of the Veronaville Sims, I would have assumed he would be like on the cap side just because of his like attitude. <laughs> but that's fine. Um, he wants to be friends with Antonio. We want to tell jokes and stuff to Tank. Oh, I forgot. I said I was going to teleport Riley. Uh, let's do that. Alrighty, so this is Riley Grunt. He is the son of Tank and Sandy Broody. Um, if you don't remember what happened with Sandy Broody and everything, I'll just do it short and sweet. Um, she was Tank's roommate for a little while when he was living in an apartment, and one thing led to another, and she got pregnant. <laughs> they were never married. They were never in like a super committed relationship. Um, Tank did find her cheating, you know, bringing men over to the house while she was supposed to be home watching Riley, and he did not like that. He kicked her out. And now he has full custody of Riley. Look how cute, though. Oh, not you. Um, he's a really little cute kid. Um, he is very close to being friends with General Buzz. And right now, this is actually General Buzz's only grandson, because like I was saying, his other grandchildren from Rip are girls. What was going on over here? Oh, now we're arguing, I guess? Okay, Sandy. Sandy is, um, very much... She's very similar, I should say. Oh, what is... Oh my god, guys, calm down. Go watch some TV. Relax. <laughs> I was kind of saying this already before, but especially watching this right now, um, it really comes to mind. I think that General Buzz is kind of... At, as he's getting older, he's kind of turning a new leaf. He's kind of like... You know, getting more in tune with his sensitive side. He doesn't have to be so on guard with people. And, you know, with his grandson, I guess he's kind of seeing, like, what things could be like. And maybe this will make him excited to have a baby because even though, like, you know, it's kind of weird because his child would be the same age. Um, <laughs> oh, Riley and I are leaving. Uh, but yeah, Riley, I don't think you understand. You're not leaving. <laughs> I will just clear him off with this because he won't be able to go down the stairs. Okay, bye. All right, they left. It was time for Riley to go to bed. That's fine. And now it's just Buck. I guess Jill doesn't feel well. She didn't want to come over or something. Whatever the case is. It's funny because General Buzz actually doesn't have any wants related to Buck. But that's okay. Oh my gosh. What's happening over here? Tori MacArthur? This is General Buzz's ex. Okay, um, Tori MacArthur, she is a townie. If I remember correctly, I think that, you know, I take it back, I guess he did have an affair with Nina <laughs> from earlier. I was saying that I don't think they've interacted. I think they must have had, like, something happen. 
Oh, anyway, um, yeah, so we fell in love with Sandy, got engaged pretty much right away. Sandy, Nina, I know he did something with this Tory girl. I know he did. Lilith, God, it must have been eons ago. Maybe not. Okay, never mind. Uh, maybe they just flirted? I feel like I'm going insane. Maybe she has nothing to do with General Buzz at all. Maybe she's Tank's ex. Let's find out. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm such... I'm so clueless. <laughs> no, I thought for some reason she was Buzz's ex. She's Tank's ex. She went on a dream date with him and woohooed and everything. And they were honestly kind of like, you know, doing great. But he kind of like, you know, was also seeing Sandy on the side because they weren't in a committed relationship. So I think Tori's pissed off that, you know, Tank you know, copulated with another woman and had a baby because maybe as a knowledge sim, she might have thought that things were going further than they really were. I see here that she also got caught cheating by Laszlo. That is hilarious. She was in a relationship with Laszlo at some point, I guess. <laughs> anyway, enough about Tori. This is not the Tori show. Bye. Looks like she's stealing our uh, gnome. <sighs> Goodbye. Enjoy that, I guess. Why don't you go steal Tank's gnome? That makes no sense, but okay. I wonder if she just, like, populated because Tank was in the lot? I'm not sure what that was about. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're just gonna fast forward through the evening and just take care of some needs. The guys were having dinner together, just some lunch meat sandwiches. And, um, I think that they're talking about how Buck is engaged right now and he's planning to have a wedding soon. I wonder if maybe General Buzz is going to help him out with that, like, financially... Or if he's just going to be supportive. Speaking of finances, this household fund is actually not accurate. I forgot that I actually mother-loaded them <laughs> to redecorate their house. So let me fix that if I can. Alright, Sandy just donated 20,000 simoleons to charity. It's still more than they originally had, but I'm okay. I think that 14,000 simoleons is a good amount for this couple to have in their nest egg. Sandy's going to have a sandwich. And after that, uh, it's midnight now. I think we're going to say goodbye to Buck. Oh, he's going to go upstairs, of course. He's probably wondering, like, wow, Dad, I like what you did with the place. Looks so different than when I used to live here. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. We're going to get him in the bed. Sandy is really tired, but I just want to see if we can get her to try for a baby one more time. Maybe she is ovulating. <laughs> Something that gives me the ick about this is that they're laying on their bed in their outside clothes. Alright, this is round two. Give me a baby, please. Okay, it's 6am. General Buzz just woke up for the day. Um, he's in his underwear. We'll have to wait until Sandy wakes up and goes to the toilet so I can run my pregnancy test. Quotation marks around pregnancy test. It's just a silly little thing I like to do. I think it's fun. Okay, clean this up before you do anything. That's gross. General Buzz is thinking about how he just got lucky twice in one day. Maybe let's... Oh no, not an instant meal? No! Okay, well I guess you're having instant meal. We'll pretend that they're like protein shakes or something. Oh, uh, Sandy has to go to work in an hour. Let's go ahead and get her up. Alright. Just gonna come over here. She's on the toilet. I go to my ACR adjuster. Pregnancy scanner. <gasps> no, really? She's still not pregnant. Sim settings, pregnancy. Birth control's not on. She can get pregnant. Pregnancy odds are currently sitting at 26%. 20%. But we're not doing risky, though. That's risky, Ruhu. Um, 26% is quite low. Like, she still has 16 days before she becomes an elder. I think that... I wouldn't think that her um, fertility would be that low. I'm not sure. But, okay, that's twice. So, they can only try for baby one more time. And if that's not the ticket, then... I think they're going to have to have a deep conversation. <laughs> Is General Buzz going to adopt with Sandy and give her the family that she wants? Or is this marriage maybe... Like, is that going to be like a breaking point for her? I wonder. Alright, we're going to go out here and take care of a little terror. I kind of forgot that he was out here, honestly. Um, 
he's sleeping on his little bed. How cute is that? I didn't get to pick Terror's coat pattern because, like I said, he was a puppy before. Oh, thank you for doing that. Um, so I guess the game just, this is the default replacement of whatever puppy we had. I have General Buzz's trash can locked up because, for obvious reasons, he has a lot of enemies. They come over and they knock this thing over all the time. Oh, the phone's ringing. I swear this phone stays ringing. Uh, is Sandy available to talk? No. Maybe have another thing. Uh, General Buzz does not have to work today because he's off on Saturdays, so that's nice. I'm not sure what he's going to plan to do. Maybe we could, like, send him to a community lot or something. Sandy won't be home until 4, so I think that could be a plan. Just kind of do something to get him out of the house. Kind of get to know other people a little bit. All right, so surprise, here we are at, um, I think this place is called 250 Main Street. I don't know, I should probably rename it. Uh, this might look familiar because this is the community lot for the pool in Pleasant View. So yeah, General Buzz actually took a taxi and he came down here to Pleasant View and I think that he came here subconsciously. He might be looking for someone. Um, there's no guarantee that we'll find that person that he's looking for, but you know. Take a look around. Who do we got here? Dustin Broke is in the pool. Orlando Sentowski, Randy London. Bottom Summer Dream, Cassandra, Mary Sue. Okay, so we do have a pretty good assortment of people here. Um, yeah. Not a lot happening otherwise. It's raining because from my luck, it always starts to rain after I get to a community lot without fail. <laughs> Um, oh, we got Ricky. Oh, this isn't even just rain. It's hail, isn't it? Uh, I think that General Buzz is going to kind of just hang around because I think that he knows someone, you know, might usually visit this place, possibly with his two daughters, question mark. So, yeah, just kind of hang out for a bit, see what happens. All right, so I ordered a hot dog, and this is what they gave me. Uh, that doesn't look like a hot dog. <laughs> I guess this might be a little borked, but that's okay. You just, you got more than you bargained for. Maybe a better deal. On oh, General Buzz wants to ask someone on a date, that's nice. Uh, maybe we'll come in here and greet Bottom Summer Dream. I usually ignore the townies, but I like to get the playables to know one another. Oh no, not them having chemistry. <laughs> Two bolts, oh my goodness. It's not what I was expecting here. <laughs> Bottom, a summer dream, is actually living in Pleasant View now. Um, she's an aspiring musician, and she moved here to kind of like, you know, take a step back from her family and everything, all the crazy drama that happens in Veronaville. Um, I could also see her moving downtown someday, possibly after she gets her footing with her career. So I like that for her. She kind of has like an ongoing relationship thing with Hal Cap, but they're not living together at this time. Mary Sue is here, and she's just been eyeballing these vending machines for like an hour. Oh, she's finally picking something. She got a drink. And Cassandra is here. She's cute. Alrighty, so yeah, we've been here for a little bit while, and I don't really think that Buzz is getting exactly what he was looking for here. I think that he inadvertently wants to run into Rip, but I don't think that he wants to be the one that reaches out. Um, but I also know for a fact that Rip is never going to be the one that reaches out. So I think if they're going to reconcile, or reconcile is honestly a big ask. If they're even just going to talk to each other, I think that it's going to have to happen. Oh, that was really good job, Buzz. <laughs> I think it's just going to have to happen on neutral grounds. Which is kind of why I was hoping that he would come here. But um, we're just getting lots of other townies come in. Not really a lot of playables here. And the ones that have been here are not leaving. So, yeah. I mean, I would say it's, it was a bust, but at least we got out of the house for a few hours. Um, it's 5 o'clock now, so I think that General Buzz should actually head home. Um, Sandy will have been home for about an hour at this point by herself. We're back home, and Sandy just got home from work. She earned 1,546 simoleons. That's pretty nice. I wish I made that much money every day. <laughs> um, so she's just going to come in and take care of some needs. I see that she actually has some wants to buy things. She wants to buy a food processor, a new stove, a sculpture. Um, I just bought them all, all new counters and appliances, but you know I could see a food processor being useful, so I'll get one for those. Okay, I just put it on the counter on top of the trash compactor. 
All right. Oh, and she wants to dance with Buzz now. Isn't that sweet? Um, we are going to play with Terror because I just feel so bad for the pin animals. I usually don't like to keep animals in pins like this, so, um, I just want to give him some love. Like, look how cute. Oh, her hands go inside of him. But, yeah, he's very cute. That was nice. Alright, General Buzz should be home soon. He'll be home in about an hour and a half, so we'll just wait till then. We just aged up another day, and this will be the last time we age up in this household. So Sandy is now 15 days from becoming an elder, and Buzz is 5 days from becoming an elder. So he's roughly about 10 years older than her, so that's not too bad. Um, at least in their adult ages. I think the really weird one was when he was hooking up with Lilith, because she was pretty young. Um, she was an adult, but still younger than him, so fun stuff. Uh, Sandy's favorite hobby is sports, so she's just winding down after a long day of being a sports star <laughs> uh, of watching sports. Yeah. Okay, General Buzz just got home. He had to take a taxi because Pleasant View is too far to walk. I think a good investment for this family would be getting a car. Um, I think that General Buzz would have one, and I think that he can afford one, so let's find a car. This is sort of what I have figured out right now for the driveway situation with the car. This is one of those uh, Sims 2 store item cars, which I forgot how nice these actually were. Uh, this is a Ford Escape Hybrid, which I think really suits Buzz. So this is going to be his car. Uh, I would give them like two, but like they don't have room, nor do they really have the need for two cars. Um, I'm not much of a like a super like oh every single sim has to have their own car situation because a lot of times my sims don't really go anywhere so besides work <laughs> so it's not a big deal um i also have mixed feelings about the sidewalk cement i think i should just even it out would that make it look better or worse is that too weird it's sort of like a patio so i guess that's fine that looks better that looks better and I also put down some plants because I forgot that it was naked on the side. It's my hope that he will get out of his car and he will just walk through this gate and use this door. And they're not going to get out and walk all the way over here and this way. If that's the route that they start taking, I'll, I guess I'll just put a gate there. I guess I could put a gate now. What am I talking about? <laughs> I know that these gates don't match these fences. If you guys know of any nice like four to two gates, I think that would really complement a lot of my fences. I would really love to see those. So definitely like send me some links or something. <laughs> um, I keep forgetting to go searching for them on my own, but I really need some new gates. Like I don't have any custom content gates. All right, so we're home and it's gonna be attempt number three. Are we gonna have this baby? <laughs> Like, if she had just gotten pregnant on the first time, like, we would already have gotten a bump. But, yeah. Sandy said, listen, I know that, you know, it's not that he doesn't want to have a kid with her. It's just that it's not what he, it's not his biggest desire. But, you know, Sandy's like, listen, I know that you, you know, have mixed feelings about this probably. But I really, 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 I want this baby. Let's make this happen. He goes, okay. Like, I'll do anything for you. Because I know that he does love her. Oh, look how cute. They went straight to sleep. It's a little too early to go to bed. Let's wake up. Uh, who has more cooking skill? Sandy does, so she'll need to make some dinner, probably. Um, I think they might have leftovers. Let's check. I'm going to send her to the toilet, even though she doesn't really have to go. And this is... Fingers crossed. <gasps> Still not! I'm actually, like, a little shook right now. It's been a while since I had such a low chance of pregnancy. She's 41 days old. 20% works out to 440 chances. Hmm. I hope this isn't like an issue with like a fertility curve. Like, I mean, it's not an impossible like chance. Like she could get pregnant. The chances are just so low that it's not happening. Oh, he took the last plate of spaghetti. She'll have to make her own dinner. <laughs> Very considerate of you as he thinks about the woohoo again. Oh, that's a shame. So that's three times. That is three times that um, she tried for a baby and did not get pregnant. So that's where my rule comes in. Like, are we going to adopt or not? Hmm. I have to think about this. Oh, no. She's going to go set the table out there. Don't do that, please. I have to put like a centerpiece on that table so she doesn't do that. Um, 
yeah, so I have to think about this. I have to think about how I want to handle this situation. Normally, I just say, yeah, go for it. Um, General Buzz, he does not have a secondary aspiration. Does he have room for one? No. Uh, I'm looking at, like, I don't know, his interests? Like, how can I justify this? I guess this is also my kind of, like, way of saying that I don't really want General Buzz to adopt. I really wanted him to have, like, his own child, which I know adoption is wonderful and, like, the child would still be theirs and everything. But, you know, like, I think that Buzz is just one of those people he, like, wants it to be his. And I think that Sandy, she's the type of mother that I think she really wanted to be pregnant. So that's actually a shame. Something else I could potentially see us doing is, like, a surrogate situation. Uh, maybe, maybe Sandy is the person, you know, she just can't get pregnant, so possibly, like, General Buzz will donate <laughs> to another sim. Hmm. I've never done that before. But, yeah, it's definitely on my mind. I think since it's already at the end of their round, I'm just not going to make any major decisions right now. And if you guys have any ideas or, you know, if you have any preferences for what they do, definitely let me know. Um, if this were a Twitch stream, I would do a poll. <laughs> but right now, I think we'll just leave it up in the air until we come back to this family. Like, um, again, she still has 15 days before she becomes an elder, so there is still time. Maybe when we come back, they'll, you know, risky woohoo and it'll just happen magically. Um, if not, then yeah, we could also consider the surrogacy option, so... Definitely let me know what you would rather us do. Oh, I just noticed that General Buzz wanted to have a party. I don't know how long he's had that want, but it's a bit late now. Uh, maybe next time. These two are pretty tired, but, you know, they're just getting some much-needed one-on-one time. I think that Sandy's really down in the dumps. She's really disappointed that she hasn't gotten pregnant. And General Buzz feels sad for her, so he's trying to make her feel better. See, I, he's not a bad person. Like I was saying before, he just made some bad decisions. Okay, and then she goes to dance. <laughs> um, she, he just made some bad decisions when he was younger. He, you know, his first marriage did not probably go well. It's kind of like my head canon that his relationship with Lila before she passed away was not good. Um, he was probably too overbearing, too strict, especially with their boys. And kind of pushed Lila away. Um, it is in their family pictures. Where is it? I think it's this one right here. That's Lila. I think this is her moving out. So, yeah, she moved out and then disappeared. And all of Spectre had something to do with it. Don't know what, but something. Anyway, but yeah, we're not going into like the Strange Town lore today. I'm, I'm just referencing it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, General Buzz, I like to think that he's kind of like turning around, maybe just developing a new. A new outlook on life. Okie dokie. It is now Sunday at 6 a.m. And I noticed that the um, it actually ticked over to fall. I think I had the same exact thing happen in the Summer Dream household where it ticked over to fall. But technically, I think that it's still supposed to be one day left in summer. So I'm going to fix that really quickly. Otherwise, I know the day of the week is accurate. So that's good. All right. So uh, General Buzz lost his extra want slot. So now before I leave, I'm going to remember... To use the bat box and give him the um, degree that I wanted him to have. Like I was saying in my other videos, I had forgotten to do this for a lot of my sims. So it's very late, but better late than never. Um, and Sandy already has hers, so we're good. Okay. Yeah, they kind of just want to play some sports and, you know, chill out on this Sunday together. So that's fine. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and leave things there. I apologize if this episode wasn't extremely eventful. We're still kind of like finding our footing with this couple, still kind of figuring out what they're going to do. Other than the fact that Sandy really wants a baby and hasn't been able to get one, you know, that's a shame. And I also think that General Buzz is starting to feel like he's missing out, especially in terms to like his grandchildren that he knows are out there in the world that don't even know who he is. I think like as he gets older, he's kind of reaching like a sentimental age and it might be kind of like dawning on him that, hey, I need to, if not make things right, at least try to reach out and put myself out there in the world. If they don't want anything to do with me, then so be it. So I don't know. That's just kind of like my take on Buzz's take. <laughs> Sandy is going to do anything that she can, hopefully, <laughs> to get this baby. Um, 
as I was saying before, we're just going to have to decide next time we play with this family when we're doing our five day rotations, which I'm super excited about. Um, are we going to have a surrogate or are we going to adopt or are we just going to keep trying for baby and maybe she grows up to old age before she gets one? I don't know. We'll have to see what Sandy wants to do. For now, I'm just going to, of course, keep the want locked in. Okay, on that note, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. This is the end of today's episode. Next episode, we will be playing right next door with the other grunts. Uh, the last few episodes are going to be grunts, so that's actually really funny. Uh, it's going to be Tank and his son, Riley. And I think that we're going to get to see Riley age up to a child. Um, I'd like him to also maybe get to know his family members a little bit more. Um, Tank and Rip also don't really have any contact, but... Gosh, I would just really love for Riley to be connected to his cousins somehow. I really hope I can make that happen. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe or follow me on Twitch. I do stream The Sims 2 pretty frequently over there as well as some variety games. Uh, it's a lot easier for me to stream to Twitch because I don't have to sit down and edit the videos afterwards. So I'm actually much more active over there, but I promise I will get through this Uberhood rotation eventually. Um, if anything, I would love to start doing YouTube streams one day. I did a community post a few months back about a poll. A lot of you said you'd be interested in YouTube streams, so if that sounds like something up your alley, definitely let me know and I will start working on that. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, your night, your week, whatever it is, and I'll see you next time. Bye!